Hey guys, I got a couple of questions from, from those of you that have a BitPixel LED. So not a Pixelcade, but a Bit BitPixel for your app games. It looks like this. Um, some folks have had um, issues. So I'm um, putting together this little troubleshooting video to help you troubleshoot it. Um, but before that, just a disclaimer that BitPixel is an app games product. It's not a Pixelcade product. So we're happy to help and provide advice, but we don't support it. It's again, 100% an app games product. It uses Pixelcade technology, um, but the hardware is all app games. So that said, um, some pointers. So I think the first thing, first thing you wanna do is make sure that you've got a red indicator light on the board. If that red light isn't on, you know, obviously make sure it's plugged in. If that indicator light isn't there, then there's, there's an issue, either the board has died or your power brick has died, one of the two. So, you know, first check your power brick, make sure that's that's good. You're gonna have a 12 volt power supply. This this is a different one. This is one I have in the shop, but you'd have one for Mac games. If your power brick is good, there's no red light on the board, then unfortunately the board is dead and you need a replacement board. Um, we also don't stock those, right? We stock Pixelcade boards, which are a little bit different than the Yak Games board. Um, primary difference being this runs off 12 volts and this runs off five volts. So if there's interest, we can probably make a kit available that would allow you to swap out the dead board and pop in a new Pixelcade board. You'd also need um, a custom cable to connect the, the, the LED panels, it'd be a little different. So it'd be a little bit of a job because you'd have to get in here and um, basically uh, take out some wood here take out some screws. Um, I haven't done it myself, so I would need to do it myself to see how doable or how painful or not painful that is. But um, like I said, I am willing to make available a kit if there's interest on in doing so. Um, but again, I would, if I were you, I would definitely reach out to At Games and see if they can get you a replacement board. If it's out of warranty, maybe they can sell you one. That's gonna be a much easier installation because you just pop out the board versus having to um, Go with a new board. We got to figure out how to mount this. Got to figure out how to get all these cables routed in here. Um, it's probably doable, but it's just a little bit more work, right? And you'll need a different five volt, five volt power supply instead of a twelve volt power supply. So um, first, check the red the red light. If you have a red light, but the panel is blank. So for I'll just simulate this by popping out the card. So if you see it, it looks like this, where you've got no image but you have the red light, then probably everything's fine. It's just the SD card can get corrupted from time to time. Um, that's a known issue. So if that happens, just simply um, reformat this card, copy some files to it. I'll put a link to how to do that in this video, pop the card back in, and then you should be up and running, right? And again, that's a pretty common problem that happens. So that's more than likely your issue. So then you'll see a slideshow like this um, once you do that. Now, also note, actually, BitPixel, Pixelcade will actually work even without the card. So if you even if you physically take out the card, the card's corrupted, um, you provide power to it, you're still going to get this blank screen. But once you actually fire up um, Flash Drive X, um, it will still connect and it'll still function. You just won't have that default image on uh, startup time. So just FYI, that is something that um, you can do as well if, if you don't wanna go through the trouble of formatting the card and whatnot. Um, the last thing I would check is just make sure that uh, there's a little toggle switch right here. So if you look at that toggle switch, make sure this is pointing down towards USB. So you can see I can have it pointing up or I can have it pointing down. It has to be pointing down. If it's pointing up, it won't work. Um, by default, it should be pointing down, but I've seen some where it came from the factory the wrong way or someone changed it by accident. If it's pointing up, that's a separate Bluetooth mode. You can actually put in a Bluetooth dongle and control this from an Android app. But, you know, most people don't do that. So just make sure that's pointing down. And those are really the key things to look for. Um, I hope that was helpful. Feel free to drop any comments. And like I said, if there's interest in, in a conversion kit for a Pixelcade board for those that have dead boards, I'm more than happy to look into that and develop a, a little video on how to do the reinstall. But I would highly encourage you to try at games first because that's gonna be a less, an easier lift for you. Thanks again.